Today I'm going to show you how to use Elementor. Elementor is an extension of Protractor's Element Explorer. It helps you find selectors for your Protractor tests. With Elementor, you can test locators and run Protractor expressions from your browser or your IDE. To use Elementor, you need to start the Selenium standalone server. The easiest way to do it is to use Protractor's WebDriver Manager. Then you can get Elementor through npm, so run npm install to get Elementor. Once you got Elementor, you launch it by executing the command and passing a URL. In this case, I want to write a unit test, uh, an end-to-end -end test for Protractor's API page. Elementor launches a browser with an extension. The extension includes two tools, a pop-up where you can test your locators and a developer tools window. You need to clone the current tab because Protractor doesn't work when the developer tools is open. It, ca it cannot communicate with the browser. Go to the developer tools window. Let's clone the tab. Go to the developer tools window. Find under elements. And then go to Protractor. So this tool, every time you change the node selection, it will automatically suggest a set of uh, locators and it will run against a live protractor session. It will return you a few suggestions and then the count of matches. So this count you can use to see if it's a good selector or not. In this case, we have three. If you um, do a by, by CSS div row or if you are searching by ID, there's only one match. So let's try to use one of these. Um, maybe this is a good selector for my test. I go to the original tab and then I go to the pop-up. If I enter um, a partial locator, it will run it as a count expression. So as you can see, it turned it into an element all by CSS count. Um, I can also do something like this. I can run a, an expression and execute it. So in this case, let's say I want to search for something. Um, I'm going to search for filter. So as you can see, it, set the, it sets the value on the input. I can also clear it. And it executes the command. You can also run Elementor from your IDE. There's a plugin for IntelliJ WebStorm. To use it, you should go to settings, go to plugins, under repositories, you can find Elementor, get the plugin, and then imagine that you're writing a unit test. So in this case, I want to do something like um, execute this expression against the current protractor session. So I select this text, I right click, and then I select test selected locator. As you can see, it executed the command and I can run an expression like this. It will return as a pop-up protractor API. This is the title. You can also do it from Sublime, um, just select the text that you want to test, right click and then run, se run selection in Elementor and it will execute it here. Uh, the results, if you want to see the results, they are in the status bar under here. So in this case, you can see what was executed and what was the result. You can get the plugin and the extension and all the documentation from the GitHub page. So it's here and at the bottom, you can see the instructions for the IntelliJ WebStorm plugin and for the Sublime plugin. Thanks.